Welcome to the sixth video on beginning HTML. In the previous video, we set up a web link to an outside URL. In this video, we're going to set up a link within the same page. And so this will kind of be like a table of contents where we'll set up a link to an article that's lower down in the page. And so we're going to use all the tags that we've been doing in the previous videos. So first, let's set up our table of contents. Okay, so first we're going to create an unordered list, and you will remember that from the previous video that we covered that. And then you will remember we have to put in list elements inside that. So let's create the list tags, and then we are going to go ahead and put that over here, give this some space and close that. Now we need to create our anchor tag. Remember our anchor tag is our link to wherever it is we want to go. It could be an outside page, which we did in the last video. But in this case, we're going to link down to a section in this page, and that will be the article that we are writing about. So let's go ahead and create our anchor tag. Remember, we keep that open. And remember, we have to use the href attribute to give the anchor tag a destination. That is, where are we going? Where are we linking to? We're going to put a quote, and then we're going to put a hashtag, and the hashtag is what tells the anchor tag that this is going to be linking to something within this web page. And that something is going to be called birds. And so we will call this birds. Then we will use another quote and another angle bracket. And then we're going to type in some text, and it's going to be the text for this link, which is birds. And actually, let's make that birds section. And then we will close the anchor tag. And let's delete a few spaces here. And let's go ahead and create another section. So we can just copy and paste that. And we will have a section on ducks. And that's all we need at this point. So we have our menu all set up to link to lower sections in our web page. And now let's go ahead and create those sections down here. And we will actually, let's create some break tags here just to make this a little bit realistic. And let's go ahead and use the paragraph tag to create some text. And now we've got to create another anchor tag because this is what we are linking to. And I will show you how these hook up in a minute. And we will do name equals quote birds. And then we'll use another angle bracket. And here's where we'll put in some text. This is the section. Actually, let's say this. This is the article about birds. And we will go ahead and close this with an anchor tag. And close this P tag as well. Now, this name attribute right here links up and corresponds to this href attribute here. This hashtag is what connects to this name attribute. So that's how it works. We use this hashtag and it'll look for the anchor tag that matches birds, this attribute name. So that's how this all links up. And let's go ahead and create our other section. And we will just say this is a section about ducks. And you know what, let's add a ton of breaks here so you can see exactly how this works because then you'll actually see the jump that occurs. So let's just put in some massive breaks here. Assume that this is a very large web page. And then let's take all those and go down and copy those in between. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and save this. And let's open this up. And we click on the birds, and you will see that that jumps to this article. And if we go back up here and hit the ducks, it jumps to ducks. So Okay, and so that's how this works. I will see you guys in the next video where we will deal with images.